नमस्कार व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ इनफिनिट पॉसिबिलिटीज विद प्रदीप गुप्ता ब्रॉट टू यू बाय मना टीवी इंटरनेशनल टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग दैट ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज ऑन आवर माइंड वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट इट प्लानिंग अबाउट इट स्ट्रेसिंग अबाउट इट एंड येट नन ऑफ अस आर श्योर व्हाट टू एक्सपेक्ट व्हेन वी एक्चुअली फेस इट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्यूचर एंड व्हाट इट मींस टू अस एंड देन वंस वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट फ्यूचर एक्चुअली इज we will then take this conversation into creating a future instead of stressing over it but before we get into the discussion one request this show is about infinite possibilities so i would request all of you to listen with an open mind this is not to challenge or confront any of your beliefs or norms just giving you another perspective and now time to bring our special guest i am really really excited to bring Victor Manikam founder of Victor Manikam Knowledge Group also author of the handbook for life the guy who has a unique perspective on all the aspects of life and we are so privileged to share his perspective with our viewers so victor welcome again to infinite possibilities we are really excited to have you here thank you pradeep i'm just glad i'm just glad i get to meet you on the show you know and uh, it, it is what what do you want me to say i'm just happy to be here. so uh, we are really fortunate our viewers are so fortunate that you agreed to come again uh, and today our show is all about future i just wanted to ask you what exactly is your view on what future is what what does future really mean to you and how we can take this conversation about creating a future instead of stressing about it more than my view of course i will come is that a future is always created and there is no real future uh, there is no real future created. there is no real future and before i come to what is there is no real future we will also talk on what is real and what is future because let me ask you a question uh, we always talk of future is uncertain future is to be predicted people predict the future how can we predict the future uh, let us safeguard the future all that when we say see let me tell let me ask you this question do you have to predict anything that is real if there is real does it need to be predicted answer is no no correct and the moment you are predicting something it is not real it is probable it is predictable uh, it is possible but definitely not real no? but of course most of us live the future as real like this is the real future this is the real future this is what will happen in the future i'll come to that a little later but let us ask this question na pradeep you asked what is the real future what is real let me ask you let me ask you a question what is real when you say something is real what is real something that we can feel touch maybe smell yeah. i don't know right yeah something that we can feel touch that that what is becomes real for us then mm-hmm. what is reality what what do you think is reality something to do with real stuff what what we yeah. can again where we are right yeah so now i tell you something reality is a shared perception when a lot of people agree to something it becomes real like the dollar in your hand is an agreement it is not a, it's not like 100 dollars somebody writes on that sheet 1 dollar and the government certifies it becomes real because everybody agrees to use that as a currency mm-hmm. and it becomes real uh, tomorrow is a tuesday tomorrow is a wednesday now this is an agreement right where is it where is it where is it the only thing that's going to happen tomorrow is sun is going to rise if it rises there are going to be clouds but is it a wednesday tuesday this is an agreement a lot of our reality is an agreed reality it is not like it really really exists we have oh. agreed to this as a reality it's a shared perception and greater the agreement uh, larger the perception and therefore it looks as if more defined the reality that that's such a unique perspective it is about reality as a shared perception i never thought it like that yeah it, it always is like that right? majority of us agree to something like when we say society it means that majority in the society think like this the majority begins to define reality it is it, only a perception wow which means is there something really in the future i would say answer is no 
then is there really something in the future is there something out there tomorrow answer is i would say what really exists in the future what does really exist in the future and to me the answer is nothing the future exists when it occurs where is the future tell me at this moment where is where is the 25th of april or where is the 30th of june or where is the 25th of december that is true and it when is, it actually occurs in present so there is no future it is our belief or rather our perception and our agreement uh, to call all that the earth is rotating and then there is sun is shining we are the ones who have created and said okay this is called 365 days this is called a year this is this is something that globally we have come to an agreement and we are okay globally to call it a january or february or march and it, this is this is all created right only the universal truths are actual real everything else is a shared perception what is even the universal truth and what, what is the universal truth what is real about nature is real about nature reality is defined by what most of us agree right? if most of us agree to something then it becomes reality that is this is the reality of today see reality cannot be real because reality itself changes what is reality today is not reality tomorrow which means it is not it is a changing phenomena right there is no fixed reality only human beings get fixed into some realities but reality by its own way is changing because as the perceptions change and then the sharing is larger and a majority of the people's perception has changed then that is the new reality so let me see if i got it right i want to share a visual with our viewers and you tell me if uh, this actually represents what you are just talking about let me see what you are showing then let me see whether that is what we should be sharing with our viewers let us see what you have got so does it oh, does oh, it oh oh, oh 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 that was about i was just waiting prasit this is brilliant what you brought in uh, <laughs> very, very future does not exist in reality does not exist uh, that's exactly the crux of what i just said in the last few minutes mm. then i say the future is something does not exist the reality is fixed does not exist beautiful that uh, you put it then what is everything is a possibility see there are some people who live and say before i say that i just want to say that a lot of us have made the past projected into the future as the reality of the future that's what we have done most of us have a default future you know mm-hmm. let us say things like this mm-hmm. how we project the past into the future it, let me say a simple statement haven't you read study well and then you will do well in life which is like mm-hmm. you do some how life will turn out 20 years later i think nobody in the globe knows but everybody says study well you will turn what is the relationship you study well to learn something if you do well in life we don't we, we don't know uh, it is not a guarantee but we talk because we want to project something in the past into the future or we say don't play too much it is not good for you in the future this is like you what is the connection but we are uh, what to say by nature projecting our past into the future and then the default future occurs then we just land up in the future so so let me ask you something here then is it always bad to base predictions about future based on the past i mean what about things like weather forecast or stock market forecast it's all based on past right interesting i would say not only that there are two kinds of uh, uh, projections one is a prediction and the other is a past projection so you project in the past there are sciences there are actuarial sciences which are based on past data empirical data research data uh, even occult sciences numerology astrology they are projecting some data and creating but however all these are defining a probable future they are predicting a probable future none of these can say this is the future they are creating a probability saying that to a large extent this is what may of, uh, occur if things go this way if things go this way now people predicted the markets 
uh, how much of the prediction of the markets came true with the, with the intervention of covid everything went nobody predicted covid but covid yeah. happened covid happened markets changed situations changed and a new future emerges so is there really then a future which is there is a probability but there cannot be a certainty about the future there is only a probability even if you look at uh, the markets like uh, even occult sciences a lot of the occult sciences masters are told while you believe in all the calculations and everything the accuracy of the prediction depends on your intuition of that moment more than the logic of the calculation like how do you interpret the calculation based on your intuition is more accurate than just going by your logic i mean just look at it that way that's very interesting you the way you set up the distinction between past projections versus prediction that's really interesting now there is something we get idea and we say oh the future is going to be like this and then we say okay that's how the future is and we land up into the future but let me tell you something uh, if i were to look at how how i have looked at data and see there are there are people who either live in a default future there is a default future for most people they say future is like this only a large majority lives in a default future and say this is what it is how do you live life you you grow up get married have children put them to school after you put them to school you get them they get settled you find you do your job i mean a large majority is living in a default future as if this is what life is about the life is about going to school taking up a job making the money saving up the money putting up the money for your kids letting your children do and and then their children and 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 like that is such a default future as if that that is the same thing that has been happening for over 100 years or 50 years or 80 years that's the whole story that's happened we talk right. of quality of life means we are spending more for the same thing like when i say quality of life is increased what do you mean by quality of life is increased yesterday the crockery that i used to use was costing me uh, 30 dollars now the crockery i buy is uh, 220 dollars because the designer crockery is got a good brand and and the quality of life is improved or i was traveling by a certain car now the quality of that car is good i'm having a better life there which means i'm breathing the same air uh, using costly things or i'm living in the same country in a costlier house uh, that that is what we are calling quality of life but it is it is such a default future right most of us live with that default future exactly there are some who try to uh, what to say bring about a change in the future you know like they they challenge the future they challenge the reality and say let me do something about the future this is not a default i want to challenge it and i want to do something but there are still others who invent the future and they are called outliers and a lot of these outliers have been responsible for changing our realities they did not stay in the deep they challenged the reality and invented it i mean who thought the smartphone would change so much but the creator thought it would change i mean the legendary campaign you have an iphone or you don't have an iphone i mean i when i was being heard i was like how do you press numbers without on a flat screen you need something to press right you need numbers to press and, <laughs> and a touch screen and today everybody has like smartphone is no more considered smartphone it is the default phone default exactly it is, it is the default phone the ability exists in every human being to invent their own future now you may ask me how do we invent a new future yeah that we can discuss but to say that the future is real and that is the future no 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 the fear of the future is where the market of predictability and projecting makes money then i have another visual just to get your verification and your stamp of approval that there are two types of future then i'm going to share that the default so the future default and, the and then the predicted future is what you're talking about that we can create once we are aware yeah i'm saying this is where we are trapped either we have a default future or we are trying to predict future and a lot of the markets that are there is is drawing on your uncertainties your your fear of the uncertainty and they're giving you some prediction to either give you some security or enhance your fear all prediction is what a game 
to play on your fear either enhance the fear so that you take some actions which works to align their self interest or give you some assurance that it's not so bad the future will be bright because you and i are fundamentally scared uh, but i'm just going to tell you put this aside this is the existing state i'm saying put this aside there is something called as i can invent a future i can create a future it is a created phenomenon and that possibility exists for every human being is what i'm bringing so this is where we are all existing in some default or some predictable probable future but what about a future called as created future can that possibility exist yeah you can ask me the question okay. how do you create a future that i will tell you and and i will definitely ask you that question victor because that is the main crux but just before we end today's episode i just had one clarification so even though we are kind of stuck in this default future is it okay to plan for future i mean we talk about the saving for our retirement we we you know we have all kind of things that we do what is your take on on that i would say always plan always plan because it allows you to see how much of your planning work how much of planning did not work it's a measure but the plan is not the reality it's a guideline to see how much of the future occurred in your you were able to predict accurately will you not it, it is like you building an empirical data but is that the future answer is no should you buy insurance i don't know but if it works for you do it you, you, you do it but uh, should you really save a lot of money uh, i have seen a lot of people in financial planning they have saved so much for the uh, in their old age that they don't reach the old age the best result <laughs> of an insurance plan the maximum return on an insurance plan is if you die early if you live out your whole life the value of that insurance doesn't match the amount of money that you put okay with me right? what you are saying i i agree with that that that's so true victor this, this was a very interesting conversation that we had and uh, i'm going to leave the rest of this conversation to the next episode because this is again you know as always you have given such a unique perspective on future basically what you're saying is future doesn't even exist there is nothing like future there is, it it it's not it's just a shared perception it's just like what reality is and i want to leave our viewers with that thought uh for today uh and then we'll bring you back next episode and talk about the possibility of creating the future that you were just mentioning and how we go about that what are the steps that we will talk about in the next episode but for now I want to thank you Victor for giving us this unique insight into future uh as always we look forward to hearing from you again thank you very much for joining us yeah and and I'm excited to be creating the future with you in the next episode thank you Victor so looking forward to it and uh, thank you viewers uh, this brings us to a conclusion we definitely look forward to hearing from you so please write to us on the email that you see here uh share with us your experiences any ideas you have any issues that you want us to address in our upcoming episodes please feel free to share we are always looking for uh, your suggestions and your you know your uh, ideas on how to improve this show please tell us and uh, we'll come back to you in another episode next week and we'll talk about second part of creating the future which is actually how to go about creating the future so till then have a nice week thank you very much